Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop and recently uh, we've been just under all kinds of dismal weather conditions for any astrophotography viewing. Uh, we've had persistent areas of clouds and, and rain and, and, and more clouds, an, an area of low pressure just hung on for weeks upon weeks it seemed like. Finally, the sky is clearing up this hour, but uh, you know, will it stay clear for tonight? I'm expecting thunderstorms later on this afternoon. But anyway, I'm going to try to open up the telescope tonight. Right now, the telescopes remain under cover uh, with this persistent rain and clouds that we've been having across our region. But what I want to talk about today is something else. It's what's going on in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Africa. There is a huge dust sand cloud that has moved off the uh, coast of Africa from the Sahara Desert. And it's already moved a good, well, it looks like about a thousand and a half, almost 2,000 miles into the Atlantic Ocean as it works its way westward into the Caribbean Sea. Now, where this cloud moves, you might end up with some spectacular sunsets and sunrises on top of that. So if you can't get the astrophotography in, maybe you'll get some great colors in the sky to shoot at for the, uh, uh, well, it looks like coming up this week, uh, the early week of uh, uh, June 22nd through about June 25th, maybe in the Southeast United States, definitely in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean areas. Anyway, I made a short video and I want to show it to you right now. At the time, there is a massive plume of dust from the Sahara Desert, which is now flowing westward in the tropical Atlantic Ocean. The dust cloud extends about 5,000 to 20,000 feet up into the atmosphere and is flowing within the trade winds. Huge pile of dust over here. The uh, dust can help suppress tropical storm development. That's always good. This is due to its dense dry air and wind shear. The plume has already reached the Caribbean Sea, and you can see the western extent of it right in here, uh, just south of Hispaniola. Now, the yellow arrows and blue arrows are the wind currents in the plume uh, vicinity uh, in elevation, and the wind currents themselves, the vectors, are showing the position that the plume can move to over the next several days. Expect spectacular sunrises and sunsets in the area of the plume. It looks like somewhere between June 22nd and June 25th if it moves across the southeast United States. I usually do astronomy videos, but if you like this video and the other videos I post, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell at the bottom to be notified when any uh, of new videos that I present are uploaded. Well, I hope you like this video, and I got more on the way, and the sky looks like it might be clearing off. I got targets in mind. Uh, uh, well, the planets, Jupiter and Saturn and Mars are now coming into view, and I'm going to be working with that. I have a new camera on the way. Uh, it's a mono camera. I don't know when it's going to get here. I ordered it in late March. Uh, it's been back ordered, uh, but it's on the way. It's a good one. And I'm getting into um, uh, monochrome photography. That's going to be something interesting and new. Also, I'm continuing to work on NINA, nighttime imaging in uh, uh, astronomy. And I, I think I've got it all figured out by now. And I'm going to show you more about that in upcoming videos. So stay tuned. Well, thanks for watching. And remember, unless you need rain, and boy, it's been wet out here, hopefully clear skies to everyone and maybe colorful skies as well.